A fresh layer of snow is all that covers this field today, but more than 60 years ago, this field played a role in the Great War of the World. November 1942. German troops under the leadership of General Erwin Rommel are forced to retreat northern Africa. The Allies ship the German prisoners overseas to 320 acres of land just west of Greeley. The camp here uh, had, uh, was designed as a small city to hold 3,600 people. The water tower provided the water. The fire department fought the fires. And the Germans spent the rest of the war living in POW Camp 202. It wasn't anything that you thought anything negative about it because the guys were nice, they were good. And they worked hard. Every day, prisoners were shipped to nearby farms to work the fields. Because of the war, the country was in the middle of a huge labor shortage, so any help, even that from Germans, was welcome. They were probably the best hired help we've ever had. And the prisoners were happy to oblige. Some people thought that they were getting perhaps better treatment in terms of food than the locals at home, and so this was nicknamed the Fritz Ritz. During the war, this was home. After the war, many made Colorado their permanent home. Well, they liked it here. They did, and, and, and a lot of them had communicated with people that they got acquainted with here, and several of them came back here to live. Die Zeit in Greeley war rückblickend gesehen ein traumhaftes Erlebnis. Looking back at my time in Greeley, says Eric Geisler in a letter, it was a wonderful dreamlike event. Von Haus aus ungewollt in Colorado auf 2000 Meter Seehöhe. And I thank God that I could spend some of this terrible war in Colorado, up close to the mountains. There's not much of the camp left today, just the two stone pillars from the original entryway and lots of memories. So there's three or four lines of barracks. But the future of this area is not all that bright. The land is for sale. This is a site that allows people to know what happened on the home front. 1944. But of greater concern, the future of these pillars. More traffic travels the highway today, and plans are in the works to expand the road. If that happens, the stones will disappear. With it, the last remaining link between Greeley and the war that changed the world.